every individual homeowner should have a chainsaw. But the fact of the matter is, gas-powered chainsaws are scary. They're dangerous. And if you don't work with a chainsaw on a regular basis, sooner or later, it's gonna bite you. So I'm no rocket scientist, but the theory is very, very simple. If you keep yourself away from the blade, the likelihood of being injured is greatly reduced. Your other options are getting up on ladders, trying to use pruning shears, or paying the expense of having a professional do the work for you. I'm gonna show you something that is absolutely unique in the world of chainsaws. What you're looking at right here are called pole saws. It's exactly what the professionals use when they come out to your home, only they've never seen it in purple. The green is available in the marketplace, but at a much, much higher price. And here's the silver that is also only made for QVC. I had a chance back in May to join the National Hardware Show, which is the biggest hardware show of the year. I met the gentleman who owns this company years ago, and they were so excited to show us this product. We bought enough of them that became for the very first time ever a today's special value, and we're gonna show you why it is a safer, smarter, and faster tool. I wanna to introduce you to my buddy, Sean Pickford. How are you? Good to see you again. You and I were on the show during Mornings Made Easy. Right. The phone lines blew up. People wanna do the work themselves. Yes. But they wanna be smart. You and I are guys. We find new and creative ways of doing stupid things every day. Yeah, that's Women what we do. are smart. This whole unit weighs less than a gallon of milk. And when you first see it, it does look like a small blade, but that is an Oregon blade. It's a brand name that the professionals trust. That blade will cut through a log seven inches in diameter. That's it. With a one directional cut. And it's so easy to do. We'll show you here. We're gonna cut a few of these logs here. First thing you notice, my feet are firmly placed on the ground. I'm not struggling for the reach, and all I do is push it up there, one, two, three. <laughs> and the great thing was, I didn't struggle. All I did was rest this on the branch, let gravity do the let work Let it do for the me. work. That was that easy. So if you're doing that with a handsaw, you're, you're tired in the first five minutes. Right. You're burned out on the project. Even people who love to garden hate doing trimming. We have got this at a great price, and I want to show you that information. It would go in the marketplace for $149.95, and you can find the green one in your box stores coming out shortly at $149.95. This comes with a two-year warranty. What power tool do you know that comes with a two-year warranty? Then, on top of that, then the folks at Sunjo who manufactured it added another year warranty for you, the QVC customer. We know you need protective eyewear, always wear it. We include it. The only thing we do not include would be your outdoor extension cord, and there is an oil that goes into it that lubricates the bar, and it's called bar oil. That's available at any box store, right. any home center, any place that would sell chainsaws. I have a chainsaw at home, two of them. They're gas powered. They scare the living daylights out of me. First of all, you have to literally lean over it <laughs> to pull start it. And the toughest thing about a gas-powered chainsaw is getting it started to begin with. Mine, when I hold it in my hand, I'm still inches from the blade. With this, you're never closer than three to five feet from the blade. No, because where you hold this, I mean, the blade and everything is up here. We'll start up here since we're there, okay? There's your eight-inch blade with the Oregon bar and chain, okay? Yeah. One of the best you can find on the marketplace. Over here, this is where the motor is, 6.5 amps of power. That's that a al lot. That allows us to cut that seven and a half inch log or yep. limb or whatever you may be working on. The pivot piece is right here. I had so, never seen that. I'd seen pole saws before, but not when they can pivot like that. No, so we go from zero degrees or from zero to 30, 30 degrees and anywhere in between, and there's little notches so you can stop along the way. That allows you to get into tight reach places, mm -hmm. okay? It's telescoping. I love this because my wife can do the job now too. So now I can go ahead, raise this guy up. I go from six and a half feet. And that's all reinforced fiberglass, so it keeps right. the weight low, but it's as strong as steel would so, be. So now I'm nine feet, three inches there from the ground. But when I raise it up even higher, I can cut up to 15 feet in the air. And again, my feet are firmly placed on the ground. Yep. But here's a perfect scenario, okay? We want to cut some logs and you say, well, I want to cut this guy 
but I don't want to get in there and touch these limbs or this limb when I'm doing it. Okay. That's what this feature with the pivot here allows us to do. We loosen it up, we change the angle of the cut. Sean, if this were my backyard, and, and I'm not a tall guy, I'm only about 5'8", but this right here would be tall enough where I would be lifting a heavy chainsaw over the top of my head. That's when things get dangerous. Right. My regular saw, I'd have to be this close. Sean will cut it from a good five feet away. And all I'm doing is resting it on there, okay? Letting the blade do the work for me. So you saw that fast, we made two cuts. Let me grab it's this. It's nice and clean, okay? That's what you want. That's a two inch limb right there. I didn't struggle, I'm not out of breath. Okay, my feet are firmly planted on the ground. You're safe? I'm safe because I'm far enough away and I also have the safety feature button yep. here. So even if I press down on here the button to make it go, unless I push in the little safety button, it's not going anywhere. So that's one of the great Sunjo designs. It's all about being safe when you're using the tool. This does it for you. Everybody who owns a home can use one of these. I want you to see this log. That is about three and a half, almost four inches in diameter. That's half the size of the log that we can cut. That's it. Can we go over here? Sure. Okay. Uh, I want to show you something because this is really impressive. I've got four different logs set up here. This is about <laughs> two inch right there. If I were to take a handsaw, like an old fashioned rasp saw, I can get through this, but just cutting that alone, I'm done for the day. I'm ready to go back inside. I want to quit. And look at the position you're in, okay? You're right. leaned over, you're hunched over. Look where you put your hand. Wait, look. Right you there. You put your hand right next to the blade. That, Get rid no of this. No way, you don't want to do that. I'm put that out of the way. But I want you to see the size of this one. The size of this. Wait a minute, we're not even close. There's my fist. We're not even close. We can cut seven inch diameter from a top cut but I can also do a kerf cut underneath and then chop top. I can cut through a log as big as 10 inches in diameter, and we're gonna do it quickly. All you need to do is get an outdoor extension cord. And by the way, Sun Joe makes a really, really good 50 footer. Yeah, that's what you're And you we've here. got it. And I want you to watch this. All you do is stand all the way back here. I'm a good five feet away from what I'm cutting. You push the button. And it does all the work. Let me move to the next one, the bigger one. And then I'm going to show you each one of these cuts. I was on vacation last week, Sean. You knew that. I spent a full afternoon with my chainsaw and hated every moment of it. But my vacation was last week. I knew this thing wasn't going to be available until today. Watch this. This is birch. Some of these are hard work. And look, you're going right through that. There's no stress and strain on you. But I mean, look at <laughs> that. That cut. is really I mean, impressive. Look at, that. look at the size that we're talking about. That's bigger than my fist. I mean, that's really, really big. And you, it's a clean cut. And you went through four logs. You're not breaking a sweat. You're away from where the cutting edge is. You're nice and safe. I mean, we have these on the ground because after you cut the limbs down like you're seeing here, yep. you're going to be down on the ground. So you can cut up high, you can cut medium length, you can cut down on the ground. I love this for cutting underbrush. You don't have to get in there where the poison ivy is and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. You can stay away from it now. And get the job done yourself. I'm not trying to put tree services out of business. Those people work very, very hard for what they do. And they use these. Yes, they do. They use these because they work. When I went out again to Vegas in May for the hardware show, the big national hardware show, when I first saw the saw, I didn't see it in operation. I saw the prototype. And when I saw the eight inch bar, I thought, wow, that seems kind of small. And then I talked to the folks who put it together. And I said, no, wait till you see what this thing can do. And when they showed me, I was blown away. It is so much safer than a gas powered chainsaw. There's none of this stuff trying to start it up. I ordered mine at midnight. I may never need to pick up a gas powered chainsaw again. Now, if you've got big acreage, if you have a generator, a small generator, this will work off of the generator. Yes. So I've got several acres that I've got to clear on a regular basis. I'll put the generator in the back of the pickup truck and I won't buy another gallon of gasoline ever for a chainsaw. It is really a remarkable piece of equipment. Well, and that's it. I mean, what we're going to show you here is, all right, 
I'm going to ask you to climb on a ladder. I well, know you don't like heights. No, I want you to see this because okay. I'm going to go up as, as far as I should and I'll grab my saw and I will reach up as far as I can get. But do you have any leverage? Can you really None cut anything? None whatsoever. Are you safe? No. All right. Are you on the driveway or are you out in the grass where it's not level? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now. Watch this. All I did was extend this from six and a half feet to nine and nine he, feet, three He's got inches. another four feet of reach but that then, I don't have. All right. And, and he's got the power yes. to get it done. And notice, I'm holding my hands up this high. It's only eight pounds. I can cut up here all day long. Right. There's no stress or strain on me. Uh, if this is a better, safer way to go. Take a look at it before and after. I happen to know this guy's backyard. That's your backyard, Sean. Yes, it is. And your wife, Lori, has been telling you for two summers that she wanted that stuff cleared out of there. How long did it take for you to get from the before photo until it was after? Because I know you wanted to plant grass there. Well, that was maybe 15 minutes, and that included raking the stuff out of the way. Yeah. But that's it, all right? There was no struggling, no strain. We did it on a hot day. No big deal. We can do that. The next one you're going to see here, maybe you just have a limb that broke off in some of the nice trees that you have. Uh -huh. All right, that brown color in there, that doesn't look so nice, but trying to climb up the tree with a chainsaw is dangerous. Don't do that, okay? If you were called to, to call a professional, what would they charge you to do that? To come out. Uh, what you're working towards is what they call the three Ds, anything that's decayed, dead, or diseased. You want to clear those out in the fall so that the tree can survive its way through winter and come back and thrive in the spring. We're going to talk about reach again. I don't like getting on ladders. It's not safe. And working with a regular chainsaw up at heights puts you in a precarious angle. Flat footed on the ground. Now That's you got it. me by a, a good inch and a half to two inches in height. All right. But I want you to see what you're able to do that I can't do if I, I don't even have. I mean, a that's 15 it. foot A frame ladder. I can get up there, I can hold this out, stretched out arms, whatever I need to do. I get it up there, 15 feet in the air, I rest it on the branch, and I yep. go about doing the cutting. Okay? That's what it's about. It's about being safe on the ground, being safe overhead, okay, and letting the power of the Sun Joe do the work and, for you. And yeah, get the job done and be over with it. Uh, this is really kind of funny. I'm the tool guy here at QVC, have been for all the 25 years that I've been here. I was hoping to get the first piece sample of this, and I was going to use it at my home last week. <laughs> Didn't work out that way. Jill Bauer, my buddy Jill Bauer, also a program host here at QVC, snagged it and went to her mother's backyard, and she did the cleanup, and we got it on videotape. I want to show you that. Everybody. I'm actually here today at my mom's house. This is her backyard and she told me about these trees that have all these dead branches that are that are really low to the ground and she was hoping that I could help clean them up. So when I found out our today's special value from Sun Joe was this great electric pole saw that gave me great height and was easy to maneuver, I knew I had to bring it out here and put it to the test. Well, there you can see the Sun Joe's pretty powerful and made it really easy for me to get up to some of those higher branches and cut them clean. We're talking about independence. We're talking about you being able to get a job done yourself safely. If you have never worked with a chainsaw before, don't let it frighten you. Uh, this is a smarter and easier way in which to go. Over 1,700 of you have phoned in just during this presentation we will add that to the over 14,000 people who have shopped for it since midnight. You're going to get your safety glasses and your choice of color. The green will be in the marketplace, but it's going to be in the marketplace at $149 and change. Our price is less than $100. The quality of manufacturing is such that they offer and give you at retail a two-year warranty. What power tool gives you a two-year warranty? None that I know of. Sun Joe then added in an additional one year as an extended warranty over and beyond the standard two year. And you won't have to pay for that. The protective eyewear, again, we know you need it. We're going to make sure it's included at that price of $99.72. Now, the purple is the most limited, the green is the most popular, and we have the silver. 
and it doesn't matter what color you pick, they this thing is a beast. Yeah, and that's what you want. It's nice, it's safe, it's easy to use. It's only eight pounds. It's very well balanced. So for a lot of you women out there asking, can I do this? Yes, you can do this. All right. I we, wasn't we made it that way. I mean, my wife said, all right, you're telling me I can do this. Let me try it. Sure. Handed it to her, let her use it. Couldn't get her to put it down. Well, I mean, I, somebody thought I was kidding before. This weighs less than my wife's purse. Well, it weighs less than a gallon of milk. That's it. It's under eight pounds. We're going to go off and say hello to Gladys. You're calling from Florida, is that correct? That's correct. Good, Good morning. morning. How are morning. you? Well, I'm just fine. How are you guys? Very, very, very well. And excited about this. Now, do you work with a chainsaw on a regular basis, Gladys? No, I've never picked up a chainsaw in my life. Okay. okay. Will you be using this or will someone else in the family be using it? Well, my husband will use it first, but I'm going to try to learn how to use it because we have some crepe myrtle trees in our yard. Okay. okay. Yep. Fall, and of course they won't get trimmed until all the leaves and stuff fall off, but it needs to be trimmed badly and I think this will do the trick. And, and we're not just talking about little twigs. This thing will go through a branch up to seven inches in diameter. That's huge. I, I saw that, and I think some of the branches on our crepe myrtle are getting pretty big, and it really okay. needs to be trimmed down. Crepe myrtle, for the people who don't know, they are gorgeous trees, but they are classified as what they call a dirty tree, like a willow tree, where it tends to drop a lot of branches and twigs in the yard. Yes. So there's constant cleanup for you with those beautiful trees. Oh, yes. This will do it. And yeah, it'll, when, it'll do it, it easily. So, and then have a, there's an oak tree in my neighbor's yard that the limbs are protruding over to our side of the fence, and those need to be trimmed, and this will work at doing that. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Uh, Gladys, when you get it at home, you will need two things. Uh -huh. You'll need an outdoor extension cord. We and, have that. Great. And then you will need to go to your local garden center, home center, box store, hardware store, and get what they call chain bar lube. And it's, okay. it's a thick, uh, it's almost like honey. And it will go right up into the top. There's a little window on the other side. It's a reservoir that'll tell you where you are. Now we've been cutting with the same saw all day. Uh -huh. So I'm about halfway through. When you see it get to the minimum, you take the cap off, put a little bit more in, and then it self lubricates, which is a really nice system. That's the only maintenance you have on the entire unit. Holy cow. That's yeah. it. You can do this. I mean, you yep. really can. So just like you're seeing it here when you get it home, try it out. Yeah. And what's this, that lubricating stuff called? I'm going to write it down. It's called, and you'll have information in the box, it's called Chain Bar, B-A-R, oil. Mm -hmm. And it's the same exact formulation, there's lots of brands, that you would use on a gas-powered chainsaw. Right. Only with this, you're going to be using a lot less of it. Sounds wonderful. I okay. can't get it. Beautiful. It's on its way. We'll get it to you there in Florida. It'll be there in about seven days. Sounds like a plan. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. It's fall. This is the time of year to do it's this. It's time to clean up. Yeah. Can we go back and do this demonstration sure. again? I, I want to show really you like what we've got. And I want to update you. That purple that Gladys just bought, we brought in 4,400 of those in the purple. There's 1,400 that remain and then they're gone. I want you to understand that this tool is not a toy dressed up like a tool. When I first saw it, I, I thought an electric chainsaw to really go through this stuff. This size branch right here, that's about an inch and a half to two inches. Normally, you'd have a handsaw and it would take you all day to get through that. That makes yard work work. That's small. We're going to step up to this one. Twice as big. Not a problem. That's the size of my fist. We'll get through that in just a few seconds. Look at this. Look how big this one is. And that's a maple hardwood. So. That's maple. That's what they make kitchen cabinets out of. This is birch. That's, in fact, that's not even the full length of what we can do. But I can cut through that in just a few seconds. And the best part is we're going to keep ourselves a good five feet away from the blade. And the great thing is, is again, he's letting gravity do the work. He's not having to do anything. So rest it onto the limb or the log that you're cutting. That one's done. Let the eight inch origin bar and chain do the job. And that's what it's gonna do. It's gonna cut through it just like you're seeing there. All right. Nice, that one's clean, done. Nice clean cut. Now we move up. This is a nice heavy duty hardwood we have here. And we're doing this for a reason. 
to show you that the 6.5 amp motor has all the power to cut through this log and the next one and the next one and <laughs> I'm the making next firewood. One. So, and this guy, the big guy over here, Dan's going through this, and you can see he's not struggling. All he's doing is letting the saw do the work for him. And as he said, he's a good five feet away from where they were. He's nice and safe. Look at that. That's brilliant. And look how clean that is. Look how That's clean brilliant. that is. And you cut want is. a clean cut. Yeah, because if you don't get a clean cut, your trees and bushes and I, stuff like I that agree. can get diseased. I have never seen an electric chainsaw that has the guts this one has. I've never seen one that has the telescoping pole and the adjustability for angle. You've got a 30, diff 30 degree offset on it. And we've never done one as a Today Special Value. When we say lightweight, look at this. She just cut a branch that was 15 feet off the ground and never needed to get on a ladder. If you've got something to cut that is higher up than 15 feet, I just, I would recommend anyway you get a tree expert in there to do it. Right, and it's, when a tree expert comes out, they're gonna come out and the first thing you're gonna see is they're gonna bring out the pole saw. So the professionals use these for a reason. They're safe, efficient, and easy to use. I mean. It doesn't get any better than that. We're talking eight inch bar and chain from Oregon. One of the best chains that you can buy. That's what you now, want. When you say from Oregon, right. Oregon is a brand name of chainsaw blades. So even the big and gas they powered are ones, recognized right. as the leader in the industry. The folks at Sunjo don't manufacture chains. They went to the best in the industry and then built this unit around it. That's it, 6.5 amp motor. That mm -hmm. gives us the power to do the work we don't have to do the work. We rest it on the limb. We let it go to town. We let it do the cutting, okay? But that also gives us the light weight that we need so we can extend it to 15 yep. feet and not struggle. Here you have your tilt feature because sometimes you just need to get into those hard to reach limbs. Again, from zero to 30 degrees or anywhere in between, there's little notches, you'll feel it. Just go ahead and tighten that down. As we go down the pole a little further, here's the little clasp here. This is where how you extend the pole. So when I loosen that up, I can extend the pole. Again, extend it out. All right. that, that pole is all reinforced fiberglass. That's what makes it so feather light, but so strong. So you feel stable even at its most extended position. You'll notice a big my, padded handle. Big padded handle, so whether you're right-handed, left-handed, no problem, you can use this. I love these two features. Cord keeper right here, yep. so it's not gonna come unplugged from you when you're using it. The other great feature, if I turn it over here, if I go to press down on here, nothing happens right. until I hit this button here. That is a tremendous safety feature. You wanna have that, okay? The other thing is, is when you do that, you can notice, in order for me to be able to operate this, uh -huh. look how far away I am from where the cutting surface is. Because you and I were talking before, last time I checked, this, the whole idea of this saw is to be able to cut through limbs. Right. And these and these are all called limbs. <laughs> you want to be, I nice and be safe, as so far you... away from that blade as possible, well, especially with that blade being as sharp as this. And think about that. If that was a big limb with you know leaves and everything else right. on it, you want to be able to go ahead and cut through it, That's but beautiful. be away from where the limb is going to drop down on the ground. Again, you're nice and safe. You'll use it and you'll use it often, especially this time of year. Close to 16,000 of you have picked it up since midnight. In the purple, we started with 44, 4,500 at midnight. There's 1,200 that remain. You cannot find that color at retail. That was made for us. Same with the platinum, the silver one on the right. It should be $149.95. What company do you know gives a two-year warranty on a power tool? It comes with a two-year warranty standard, and we've added an additional year to that. That would normally be a $30 upgrade from the folks at Sun Joe. You won't pay for that. The protective safety glasses, you'll need them. You should wear them. It's always well advised, so we include them. You get everything you need except for the power cord itself, and we can make one available to you, and chain oil. The chain oil you'll pick up at your local gardening shop. A 50-foot outdoor extension cord from Sunjo goes for 39 bucks. That's a good quality cord. It's the exact same one that I use with my Snow Joe electric snow thrower to clean my driveway when it snows. Now, when you get it at home,